Hey, this is Isaac Kotek, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing off this awesome preset using Wavetable. So it's this Ezra horn right here. I was inspired by some music by Flume in his track Ezra. It's this really interesting horn pluck type sound. Cool, so let's check this out and make this step by step in the rest of this video. If you want, you can go ahead and grab this for a buck. The link is in the description. You just go ahead, grab it, use it in your music or whatever, or stick through the rest of the video. I'm gonna go step by step to build this from scratch using Ableton Labs Wavetable. Cool, let's get to it. First thing I wanna do is I'm just gonna delete this and throw in a Wavetable. Now I'm going to I like to usually start with the oscillators to get a sound and interesting harmonic quality that I like and then dial it in over here. So first of all, the basics, I'm going to pick the pulse dual. I'm going to set this around 80%. There we go. Great. And then I'm going to put on oscillator 2. I'm going to go pick the instruments. And under this, I'm going to pick string one. Just give it a little bit more interesting harmonic quality than just that one over here. And I'm also going to increase the semitone to 12. And lower the volume a little bit. So great, we've got that part of the sound, but it definitely doesn't sound how the original one did. And that's because we were doing a lot with the filters and the mod sources. So I'm gonna set this filter resonance up a little bit around 42 set this to osr and i actually want my filter amount to be around 162 i'm just going to type that in so it sounds pretty dead right now until we start coming into here i'm also going to play with the drive amount and then lower that just so we've got a little bit of an interesting drive and quality with the filter itself so over in my mod source, I'm going to have a slow kind of building amp. I think that's a huge quality of this particular sound. So I'm gonna go with 60 milliseconds. And then we're gonna want my sustain to be at around negative 22. So it kind of drops quite a bit. And my decay is around two milliseconds. I'm actually gonna get that up to around 2.85 awesome and the release won't matter all that much but we'll just shrink it in a little bit because a lot of the quality of the sound is going to happen in the envelope too envelope 2 i'm going to make my attack 53 so it comes on a little bit faster than the amp and then my decay amount i'm going to set to 2.26 and my sustain all the way down. And my release, I'm going to keep it at around two milliseconds. I'm just gonna write two milliseconds in. Uh, there we go, I actually want it around two seconds, not two milliseconds. Great, now I have to go over to my matrix and map this envelope to, to the filter sound. So I come over here, I'm gonna click on the frequency and then we show it right here. I'm gonna set this to 100. Great, this is getting a lot closer. I also want to set my oscillator one gain. To there as well, so. It just moves the gain a little bit over time so it's not just so stagnant. Now, a big part of this magic is the unison. The unison basically doubles, triples, whatever the amount of voices is, the sound to make it sound bigger using different algorithms and ways of doing this. So if I set this to noise, see now I'm getting that quality that I want. It's much bigger sounding. So when I have it compared to the rest of the track, it's pretty good the only thing is i feel like this amp isn't quite as long of a decay as i would like there we go that sounds a lot better
And if I wanted to take this up a notch, I could also go ahead and add some audio effects, like a little bit of a reverb. Change that quality to high, I don't like it in eco. There you go, and that's the preset I made that was inspired by the track Ezra by Flume. It's got that really cool horn, almost like pluck type sound. You can add this bouncy feature into your track. Now you can grab this preset for a buck, follow the link below, or you can grab a massive collection of future bass sounds from plucks, synths, pads, you name it, all made in the new Ableton Live wavetable to give it this really unique quality and very edgy, top of the line type of synthesis. So check that out in the second link and more of these videos coming at you. So make sure you subscribe. There'll be a ton of videos on future bass style from Flume, Odessa, Mora Mesa, Alice in Wonderland, you name it. So subscribe and more coming at you.